Jack Burnett. Woo! Here we go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Burnett. <laughs> Laser beam specialists. So Jack is a great kid. Having worked with him, man, he is a hard worker. He really needs to work on letting the ball travel, though. He's wanting to go out and get everything. He should try to hit the ball as hard as he can, as hard as he can, between his ankles. He wants to let that thing travel as hard as he can between his ankles. Now, if he hits it well, really what he's going to be doing, he's going to be hitting it right around his front hip region. But if you place the goal of hitting it between your ankles, it'll force him to let it travel more. And that's really something he needs. He's a double tapper with his front foot there. And that is, that's fine as long as you can arrive on time. You see that most of the time, he's way out front. So he probably needs to slow down his double tap. He needs to start later. Start sometime between that when the pitcher breaks his hands and when the pitcher's front foot lands. Somewhere in there, it's different with every pitcher. It starts somewhere in that range. That needs to be when he starts. I, you know, I like, I like where his hands are getting on the way back. One thing I would look at though, in terms of, I like how far they're going back. One thing that I would look at is when he does turn that, when he, when he goes back, are his hands getting inside his shoulder? Because when your hands get inside your shoulders, you're starting circular movement, and we want to eliminate all circular movement until after you've made contact. I think that'll help his front side too. Did you have fun? Yeah. What, uh, what's one thing that you learned at the camp? Um, just to have my power stay in my knees and I need to line up my feet because if you don't line up your feet, you can't hit them all. That's right. You are, you are a good man. Nicely done. Now, you do need to work on that. And that's stuff that you could do in T-Work, soft toss. You know, what you need to do is every time you hit, in batting practice or in the cages or whenever or with a partner, always tell them what you're working on and have them give you feedback. And that way you know if you're doing it every single time. And then you get in the game, you don't have to think about it anymore. Okay, the other thing I'd work on is hitting in rhythm, okay? You notice how you're really far out front a lot of the time? Yeah. Okay, that means that you need to start your double tap later, okay? You need to make adjustments. Okay, so you need to start it early. Sometimes, and I already said it earlier, but sometime between when the pitcher breaks his hands and his front foot lands is when you need to start it. It needs to be slow. It needs to be slow. All right? Nice job, buddy.